What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily Rewind. This is where we go back a week and give you all of your tech news stories from the past seven days in one single video. I'm actually recording this on my Microsoft Surface Duo 2, so I don't know. You can see how it looks and sounds. But what I wanted to say is that we had a great week of news from uh, on the Good Lock 2022 uh, and all the new features that are coming with that. S22 news, like a lot of stuff that came out about that. One UI 4 beta launching on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 and so much more. So enjoy this week. I'll see you in the next one. Both stories are basically the same, just kind of different colors, but basically it comes from Let's Go Digital showing off Galaxy S22 Ultra. I know we keep seeing these renders and renders, but they keep making new ones as well and changing the colors and improving colors and making them potentially more accurate to what they will be like in real life. And these renders look incredibly lifelike, incredibly lifelike in that if you probably saw photos, you'd be like, damn, I want that. It looks real and I want it now. And the Galaxy S22 Ultra looking pretty cool, sleek, squared off design edges and the raindrop uh, camera design on the back of the phone. Let's first check out this green color. I gotta admit, it looks pretty cool. It looks very army-ish green. I mean, it could be a, a different shade, obviously, when it ultimately comes out. But this is a very cool, um, just, nice color overall like it, it's gonna turn heads in that it's very sophisticated i think it's got the squared off edges the raindrop tear design the 6.8 inch display the s pen it goes really really well but i think when we look at the other colors especially if they look anything like this this is where everything just truly truly pops the red color come on that burgundy red is so rich and bloody and cough syrupy you can just taste it right there the black rich deep black white looks dope as well this is my final order for these colors i'm gonna go in right now if i could i'd go red white green black the white and the green might flip flop a little bit but i haven't had a white phone like that white in really really long time and that's awesome looking really liking that color black i'd have to choose last i always get black phones i'd like to try something different but these uh, renders that they're making are freaking sick so so cool i gotta admit first story of the day is about the galaxy z flip 3 and galaxy z fold 3 z fold 3 one of my favorite phones of the year and we've been talking about the one ui 4 software beta to be exact it's already out on the galaxy s21 ultra but we've been talking about when is it actually going to come out for the Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3, because those are the new phones that are going to get it next. Well, per this tweet that we got from Tron, Tron goes on to say that the One UI 4 beta for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 is coming shortly, approximately under two weeks. So if you have a little less than two weeks, it sounds like, for the One UI 4 to come to the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3, you are in order guys this is going to be awesome i can't wait for this to come out i have it on my s21 ultra and i can't wait to get it on my z fold 3 as well nice to get like it just feels usually usually it makes the phones feel a little bit fresher add some features i'm pretty excited about it and uh we only if we only have to wait a couple weeks that's going to be super awesome uh he pulled those images or looks like from the samsung members app so it looks totally legit next story is about not this phone the galaxy s21 ultra even though it kind of is but it's about the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the cameras that are gonna be on the back on and front of the phone. And it's not making me too happy. It's kind of making me a little bit disappointed because potentially they could be exactly the same exact cameras as the S21 Ultra. Check out this tweet first from Ice Universe who says that the S22 Ultra cameras, and he's saying this is 100% accurate, is that they're gonna have a 108 megapixel main camera, they're gonna have a 12 megapixel ultra wide, 10 megapixel, and another 10 megapixel camera on there. It should also have a 100X zoom for that 108 megapixel main camera. But ultimately, when we dive a little bit deeper into this, Chun on September 19th, which is a few weeks ago, has said that the S22 Ultra rare cam are the same as last year, which he's noting that would also Ice Universe locked in. And the main sensor might be the same HM3 sensor as well. Not sure about it though. So this is terribly, I feel like, disappointing. Does the S22, S21 Ultra have a bad camera? No. But when you upgrade year over year or you want to upgrade to the next iteration of the phone, you want better 
overall everything or better incremental updates. You want something different. Like you don't want to get the same exact experience, but to them just call it a new phone. Now the S22 Ultra will have the integrated S Pen versus the S21 Ultra. It has to go inside of a case in order to use it. But still, beyond that, you want, especially cameras, you want it to be better. And maybe it will by a software, but you got to admit, S21 is going to get the same software updates as the S22 as well. So it's like, it might not get it right off the bat, but it will get it a month or few months later than that. Story of the day, this phone, the Galaxy S21 Ultra. I already got the third beta for this one. And it looks like the full release date for everybody all around the world is right around the corner because of this One UI 4.0 beta program for the S21 in South Korea has concluded. And usually when they do that, that means the actual full release is right around the corner as well, meaning that the software is stable. They've fixed most of the bugs. Obviously there's always gonna be bugs in software, but they fixed the majority of the major bugs on the phone and getting this in your hands, the full version should be right soon before we have it. So I would guess November is looking like the date this is gonna come out. I don't think you'll have to wait to December. Maybe some people will, but ultimately I think November, most people will have had the update pushed to their phone no matter where you live. Next up, Google had a really big announcement. Big announcement not only for big devices, but big in general of some news that we can probably gather from this and feed our imagination. So they announced that they are going to release Android 12 L for tablets and foldables and also just regular phones as well. But the phones won't have as many features as 12 L will get for tablets and foldables. And the reason I talk about this is because this is a big push for big devices for again, tablets and foldables. But I think the bigger one from this is foldables. We have the Galaxy Z Fold 3. This has their own, this has Samsung's own version of the software with a lot of great tweaks and customizations and just way to use this phone so it's more comfortable because it is in such a huge display. But you know, Google, even though they've kind of rendered their software for foldables, they haven't really made a huge push in that direction. This is that huge push. This is where we're going to most likely see the Pixel Fold. And when are we going to see the Pixel Fold? Well, the release date for Android 12L is due to come out in early 2022. So it doesn't look like the Pixel Fold is going to come out at the end of this year. It was rumored that it was gonna come and launch at the end of this year. My guess now is that it's going to be 2022, probably the first three months of 2022 when we'll see a Pixel Fold. Now this software also will work on non-Pixel phones and Pixel tablets and stuff like that. It's just my thought behind this is if, if Google's really pushing this as a one-off or, or an update for their software for foldables and tablets, you gotta think that they're gonna release their own due to the rumors that are coming out, but we also haven't seen anything of what this phone's actually going to look like. So that's my prediction. That's what I'm gathering from this. And this is a huge get and I'm super stoked because I will admit, and I kind of said this in some other videos, I love the, the, the Pixel 6 Pro, but if you made that a fold and it had a big screen and the Pixel cameras and the Pixel software and the Pixel experience, I would, I'd probably, I'd probably put all the money in my bank account down that I would leave the Galaxy Z Fold 3 for that Pixel Fold. First story of the day is about the Galaxy S22 Ultra. We're gonna drop this off with a bang. We're gonna make your eyes hurt and bleed because the Galaxy S22 Ultra is due to have one of the brightest displays ever. So check this out. This is a tweet from Ice Universe who's saying that the peak brightness of the S22 Ultra broke through the highest record of Samsung's OLED screen. Obviously Samsung still keeps the best screens for itself. So when you look at something like that, you are, you're damaged for life. When you, if you go and you have a Samsung phone and you like bright displays, Samsung is always, from what I've seen, the way to go. And you go to someone else's phones and you're like, yeah, it's just not bright, especially outdoors eh, or this lighting situation, just not enough. Samsung damages you. And I don't mean damages you in a bad way. I mean damages you like to where you're like, you want that best all the time, especially if you get one of Samsung's 
premium best phones and then try something else that's parallel. It's one of the problems I have with the Pixel 6 Pro is that the screen just does not get bright enough. Um, even at 100%, it's like, I shouldn't have to go to 100% just to get amazing brightness. I should be able to go at 50 and get that. And you can do that with the Samsung phone. So regardless, this is gonna be crazy bright. So if you love bright displays, you're gonna probably wanna go to the S22 Ultra. Next up is about Good Lock 2022. If you know Good Lock, let me grab my phone. It is a highly customizable app that you can download for your Samsung Galaxy phone. I didn't mention a specific phone. I said Samsung Galaxy phone because from what I can remember, it's available from, from, from most, uh, 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 Samsung Galaxy uh, models. Now, I know this app isn't available in every single country, so if it's not, you can usually sideload it. But ultimately, this app allows you to customize so many things from your lock screens to your regular screens to your sound settings to um, your themes. And there's so much to do in this app. It's overwhelming, but it's also very amazing at the same time. It's definitely a reason why you'd want to get a Samsung Galaxy phone. And the Good Lock 2022 is bringing some new features and a feature I've been, seriously, I'm not even joking. I've been asking and I've been waiting for this for 10 years. It's on almost every other phone that you can imagine on the Android side and we're finally getting it. So let's take a look at this. This tweet's coming from Tron, who says the Good Lock 2022 release date, new features. Disclaimer, I have no idea when your country will get official Good Lock support. You can meanwhile sideload it with Nice Lock, and he uh, links it down below, the, the Nice Lock app, which is basically Good Lock, um, but it's again, it's like a hacked up version of it. Ultimately, checking out these screenshots, Good Lock 2022 operating U on UI will open in November, so beta, uh, I be, maybe it's not beta, it's just Good Lock 2022 actually, will launch in November. Home Up and Task Manager feature is highly dependent on your OS, so it will open in December. So one of the, the, the main thing I want is in Home Up, we'll have to wait for December for that. Updates with new features listed below will be available in January 2022. So following Good Lock apps are already available for use in One UI 4 Beta, Lockstar, Routine Plus, one Hand Operation Plus, Pentastic, Wonderland, Theme Park, Nice Catch, and Edge Touch. The next one says, Good Lock 2022 new feature. So Lockstar, you're gonna get improved custom designing features. Lock your widget edit feature improvements. You can al alpha edit, change icon, icon looks. Um, edit always on display, edit always on display elements individually. You can use stickers to decorate your lock screen. It's gonna be fun. Your clock face, your watch face, connect Galaxy Watch 4 to set up watch faces made with the Watch Face Studio now on the clock face widget. Uh, sound assistant, volume panel, theme support in DeX modes. That's like their desktop operating system on their um, tablets. Voice alter feature in voice over IP or voice recorder app. I'm curious to see what that one. So it sounds like we're gonna be able to, when we're on phone calls and stuff, alter our voice. That's kind of interesting. Um, the next one, and we're getting close to what I was talking about, Multistar, this isn't it, but Multistar Dex team has joined Good Lock. I love Samsung Dex support of high resolution no matter what accessories you connect with. Use more apps at once. Rotate Dex to portrait mode if possible. Z Flip 3 exclusive. January, possibly new feature for the cover uh, seven, that I think they mean screen, that everyone is waiting for, possibly the official introduction of Samsung Health Hack that enables all apps in cover screen. Home up, this is what I'm talking about. I've been waiting for the 10 freaking years. Vertical apps list, swipe up and down to browse your app drawer icons. So instead of only be able to go to left and right when you're looking at all your apps in your app drawer, you'll now be able to go up and down completely from the very top of the screen to the very bottom and see all of them. Keys Cafe, make my own gifts. Make my own sticker with Samsung keyboard. Nice shot, they're gonna come back with new easy to use features, new settings for screen capture, recording features, option not to save screenshot image to clipboard, option to turn on do not disturb move when screen recording. I like that one, that's gonna be cool. Wonderland, you can now, you could not set a custom video file as a video wallpaper. One hand operation plus gesture hotkey, send a shortcut signal to a running app via custom gestures. Screen move, move the screen with your gestures to assist click with your fingers and uh, that you can't reach. So, bunch of new things coming. I'm super stoked about the app drawer and be able to scroll all the way up and down. I know it's really nothing, but it's something I'm really surprised even Samsung just didn't even give you the option to do. And now they're finally giving it to us, but they're doing it in the Good Lock app. So, most people still probably won't even realize it or maybe they don't even want it, whatever. But
First story of the day is a possible release date for the Galaxy S22 series of phones. And obviously we've talked about January, February being that release date. Well, how about this? This is coming from Ice Universe, who's not 100% sure, but he does say that the exact release date of the S22 is unknown. I only know that it may be released in the last week of January. If there is any update, I will let you know. No. So if we're talking about the last week of January, then you can come to expect that the phone will probably have an unpacked event in the middle of January, because usually they release and launch their phones the middle, whatever, two weeks before they actually release it. So you're talking about probably like January 15th and then release the phone January 29th, something like that, uh, so that you would have the phone. Again, let's figure this math out. We're, almost, we're basically in November, so November, December, January, mostly probably all of January, before potentially you have that phone. Are you guys planning to get it? Let me know in the comments down below which one. Next up, we've been talking about the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3 getting the One UI 4 beta. We were, I was guesstimating that it would probably come out sometime in November, maybe December. Well, it looks like the beta is already starting to roll out. So if you have a One UI for beta obsession and you have a Galaxy Z Flip 3 or Galaxy Z Fold 3, as you can see from this little tweet from XDA that it's rolling out and it's gonna be obviously One UI 4.0 beta with Android 12. Just to let you know though, it's currently rolling out. At the time of making this video, it's only rolling out in India and South Korea. So you have to live in one of those territories in order to get the beta. Now, another thing to keep in mind is if you do wanna check if it's even out there, you need to go into the Samsung Members app. It should be directly on your phone. So just search Members in your launcher, open it up, and when you open it up, if you have the ability to download the beta, mine's being finicky right now, but ultimately if you have the ability to download that beta, you should have the option of downloading it uh, just by enrolling. It should be a little banner up there. It says enroll in the beta or something like that. That's where you should see it. It should be somewhere on this front page right here. Once it launches in America and other places, I'll let you guys know. I, you, you probably Usually what happens is it launches in South Korea first and then usually like seven days later, maybe a little bit less, it launches in America and other places as well. But when it does, I will definitely let you know. But it is rolling out right now. So this is great news. Maybe it'll roll out tomorrow. Who knows? But if it does, I will let you guys know. Awesome news. And if you're, Let's jump into the first story and our only story of the day, and that is this. You can see the tweet from Dylan, the iMac Pro. It's gonna come out in 2022. He's saying that it's gonna, these are preliminary specs of what it's gonna potentially have. Pro motion and mini LED. So it'll basically have 120 hertz mini LED refresh rate on that display. So that's very nice. Base model will have 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. This is all wonderful stuff uh, for Apple to be continuing doing that. Cause 16 gigs of RAM is really a sweet spot for RAM on Mac computers. M1 Pro and M Max, M1 Max, processors which are their new super speedy processors on their computers and those processors are damn good i cannot wait to grab these because this is probably gonna be the computer i end up buying next dark bezels hdmi sd card usb c ports similar design to the imac 24 inch and pro display xdr starting price at over 2000 bucks so it is kind of expensive ethernet on the brick standard face id was tested but not confirmed so it sounds like it's probably gonna have a notch and it's gonna be released in the first half of 2020 so sometime between January and June of 2022. Again, I know most of you guys don't give two bleeps about that, but just wanted to throw it out there because it's something I'm kind of looking forward to as my next editing rig for all the you know videos that I do. But yeah, there you guys go. Jump into the tech news and answer our one and only question, and then you guys can go trick-or-treating. So our one and only story, as you can see from this tweet, comes from Roland Quand, and Roland Quand goes on to say that Samsung has started ramping up mass production of parts for all Galaxy S22 models this week, the S22, the S22 Ultra, S22 Plus. And why are they doing that? Well, it goes in line with this phone potentially launching in January, probably the end of January, or more likely, maybe, February, like the first couple weeks of February, it might even be late February, but definitely in that January, February timeline. And it looks like the reason that they're doing this is so that if there's a big influx of people that want that phone, that they have all parts on deck. They like the parts that they need to make these phones, 
they have them so that there isn't a backlog of people that want the phone and then they don't have enough phones because as you know, most everything is in complete short supply from like we're, we need a back fence. Like our back fence is like, it, it, it was at one price and now it's like quadruple the price of what we had because the supplies are so low. So like if you're building a house or as you know, the processors are low from everything from the processors that go in cars to go in phones to TVs, like everything is super short supply. And we're at this point where Samsung's kind of hedging their bets saying like, hey, I think we're gonna have and need this many and we're not gonna be backlogged by you know people that want it and they can't get it. We're gonna be right then and there with them. Now, doesn't necessarily mean that if you want the phone and this goes crazy, that they're definitely gonna have one for you and they won't really have to wait you know a month or two to get it if, it, if sales really go crazy. But I think the sales are probably gonna be a little higher than expected because I really think they're gonna sell it to the people that want it with the fact that the S Pen gets inserted, that it's a replacement for the Note phones, that it's bringing that squared off edged design that hopefully, and it might not be because we've heard otherwise, the cameras will be better. Um, and whatever else, you know, brightest display, fastest phone, like all these things that people are interested and want. So with that said, your question of the day is, uh, what do you think? What do you th well, how is this S22 getting you ramped up? Is it not? Are you kind of like, eh, I'd rather have something else. Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, for me, not being a big S Pen fan, it doesn't affect my life if it goes inside or out because I probably won't really use it anyway. Um, and that folding flip, more folding stage. You know, I love these huge phones. So that's really what gets me generally excited. But let me know your thoughts on this new S22 line of phones. And with that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beat. Now guys, before I answer the one and only question that I received today, if you have a question, leave it in the comments down below and I'll answer it in tomorrow's video because I literally got one question. With that said, let's jump into that one. Hansa Salman says, if Samsung releases the S21 Fan Edition and S22 and the prices are similar, is it worth getting the S21 Fan Edition? It really depends on the specs, as you know, because that's kind of what you're asking me. Now, I think, I don't know. I, I mean, it's hard to say because like I, I want to see definitive drop down specs for both phones side by side and decide. But it might be better off just getting the S22, but maybe it'd be better for the S21 fan. It's just really difficult to say at this point. Um, once we get complete, which we've kind of had definitive specs and things like that, and the S22 is really supposed to be almost a downgrade in a lot of ways to previous S line phones in some ways, um, like the lower end S22 versus some of the lower end, maybe S20s and things things like that. I don't know, it's tough to say, but I mean, I, I think either one is as long, if all you're doing is social media, taking some photos, watching videos, and uh, just using it to visit websites and things like that, play some light gaming or whatever, or even hardcore gaming, you're probably gonna be fine. It's almost impossible to get a phone these days that doesn't blow you away or can't handle everything you throw at it. Um, there's varying degrees of it, but ultimately it's pretty hard to get a phone that's just complete crap. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road.